Welcome to Johann Lafer Stromberg. Bienvenue à Johann Lafer Stromberg. But if it had the strange idea of firing once again, it would probably only be to announce that dinner is served. At the foot of the tower grow the simple produce that is used in the cooking, and just a little further on is the patio of the bar, all in white. Facing towards the south, the reds of the Val d'Or Terrace, the gourmet restaurant where we find the charming finishing touches. For an appetizer, we have foie gras on a rosette of caramelized apple. Now to make this, we'll need some veal stock with Madeira, some foie gras, a few grilled pine nuts, sugar, butter, some walnut oil, a drop of Calvados, a few apples, brown sugar and curly endive salad. I start off by thinly slicing the peeled apple, which we'll cook in a small frying pan. And in the pan we'll put a little butter and a little sugar. And to this we'll add some brown sugar. Here we have the foie gras that's already cooking in a frying pan. We turn it over and it's now cooking in just a drop of colza oil. And here we drop a few drops of Calvados. And now we take the foie gras out of the frying pan. This. And here we have the veal stock with Madeira, to which we'll also add just a little bit more Calvados. So here we put the apple rosette on the plate. The one that's already caramelized is on the plate. The garnish is made with a few leaves of curly endive salad, which we arrange around the plate. And then we sprinkle on a few pine nuts, and we add a little of my good Greek olive oil, as well as a few drops of white balsamic vinegar. Then, we arrange our two slices of foie gras, like this, and the veal stock, flavored with Calvados. So here's our goose foie gras on an apple rosette with curly endives. This is a cream of celery soup with little balls of chicken and fresh Perigord truffles. So to start, we're going to need a nice fatted chicken breast some lemon, yellow and red peppers, shallots, butter, parsley, black truffles, garlic, celery, some cream, a broth and some white wine. The first thing we do is to peel the celery and we cut it into little pieces, like this. And we place the celery into a saucepan. We add the garlic, the shallots, a little sugar, some salt, pepper, a splash of lemon juice, some chicken broth, some white wine, and now our cream. And we let it all simmer. Now I'll make the garnish for the soup. These are meatballs made from the chicken breast 
and we've cut them up very fine and seasoned it with garlic, shallots, coriander, chili pepper, salt and pepper, ground parsley and red and yellow peppers. If you want to, you can cook this with coriander leaves as well. Okay, then as next is the soup. Now, we'll simply mix the soup. A little whipped cream. And now we can prepare our preheated plate. So first of all we arrange our little chicken meatballs. And we pour our cream soup over them. And then the truffles. Black truffle. Und dann noch für die and now we garnish with a few leaves of fresh parsley. So here's our cream of celery soup with chicken balls and black truffles. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Of course we have some classic dishes in our restaurant that our clientele know pretty well and that they always ask for when they come here. At the Domstube, for instance, they usually ask for beef à la viennoise, but when they come to the Val d'Or, they're generally after our oriental seafood platter. Occasionally, the changing needs of our clientele have an impact on the menu, but we also have recipes that have been elaborated, as I said, following my different travels. I recently went to Japan, and I've integrated that experience into my cuisine. Our cuisine, in fact, is world cuisine, and we include anything we think appropriate. Everything I think is useful, from the four corners of the earth, I integrate into my cooking according to my own style. We use only the best. My clients expect world cuisine when they come here. First of all, I always present my new recipes to the public on my TV cooking shows at the studio, which was designed specially for me in the Gutzental. Then there's another challenge. It's that I always have to be innovative for my clients. And it's clear to me that I have to please my clientele, not only on television, but in my restaurant as well. I have to do everything I can so that people feel that I'm always available for them, that I'm fulfilling my responsibilities, that I'm the chef behind everything that takes place here. This is a deer steak, steamed with Indian verbena, for our main dish, accompanied by crepe, stuffed with blueberries, glazed chestnuts and a spicy wild game sauce. So what are we going to need? We start with the wild game sauce, chili pepper, peppercorns, crepe, blueberries, a fillet of venison, ginger, coriander, Indian verbena, some broth, asparagus, carrots for a garnish, garlic, shallots, and lastly, our chestnuts. I start with my pressure cooker and I toss in the ginger, the verbena, the shallots, the garlic that has been browned in some sesame oil. I add a little dash of chili pepper, a few peppercorns, some leaves of coriander, the white wine, a splash of broth, and I cover it with the lid and I let it cook slowly. While that's cooking, I take the venison steak. I season it with salt and pepper and I fry it very briefly in a frying pan in some very hot sesame oil. The next phase now consists in putting the meat into a colander like this one and then we steam the steak over our Indian verbena broth. We put the lid on and we'll let the meat 
cook very slowly. Next, we're going to make the glazed chestnuts. We start by putting a little brown sugar into a saucepan. We add the peeled chestnuts. We moisten the mixture with some maple syrup. We wait until the chestnuts are nicely cooked and until the liquid has become a thick syrup. And then we make the crepes to accompany them. They're very simple pancakes. And then we'll stuff them with blueberries. And these blueberries have been thickened with a little corn flour. We place the stuffed folded crepes into the frying pan with a little hot butter. Now we're going to finish our main dish by cutting up the meat, which is now completely cooked. And then we add the stuffed crepe, the chestnuts, A carrot, with its leaves still on, and a little broccoli that's been blanched and heated in some butter. And we pour on our wild game sauce that's been made with a lot of red wine. And now, just to please the eye, we add just a few more leaves of parsley. Bon appétit! And now we make our dessert, John Laffer's Dark Brown. Now this dark brown is relatively easy to make. We're going to need some rum, a drop of cognac, some gelatin, a few grilled almonds, some chocolate, sugar, white chocolate, cream, mint, praline flavored ice cream, and some creme fraiche, some cream. We'll also need some sponge cake, and we'll be cutting this up later. Now, first of all, we'll make the cream for the dark brown by beating an egg white in a bain-marie. To this, we'll add the gelatin. And we've already previously softened the gelatin in cold water. Now I take the white chocolate and the ice cream and I've already melted these in the bain-marie. I add a little rum and cognac. Weinbrand. And then I gently mix the whipped cream to which I add my shaved almonds. And jetzt füllen wir das Ganze oder beströmen das Ganze mit Krokant. Dann nehmen wir. And now I put this cream into these little molds. I cover it all with cellophane. And I put these dark browns into the fridge. After having cut the sponge cake into thin slices, I take the dark browns out of the fridge and I place them on pieces of sponge cake. And here I've prepared the glazing using chocolate, creme fraiche and sugar, and we simply pour it on top. And white chocolate now, in a little bag for decoration. And I put the dark brown on a very cold plate and we pretty it up with three different sauces. There's a vanilla sauce, a red currant sauce, and a little mango sauce. 
and we'll mix this together to make a nice design. So, zum Beispiel nehmen wir hier. And we can also add a few slices of mango. Dann nehmen wir zwei Schokolade. A couple of little chocolate sticks. Dann machen wir drauf etwas frische Minze. On top of this, we place a little sprig of mint. Hier am Rande ein paar. And we add a little chocolate. Fäden. Das ist der Bonapetit. Und there's your dark brown. Bon appetit. Bon appetit.